Alrighty. Hi, it's Patricia here. We have so much to go through today as our haul. We have to start right away and look so much going on. Look at all these. And I have a whole duffel bag to share and look at the charms. So cute. I don't think anything will be in any particular order. We'll just grab and explain. There are products that I've been using it already and I definitely wanted to comment on my after use I have so much goodies to share hmm. it matches let me show you how big the duffel bag is look it's like giant first of all i want to talk about alcohol <laughs> let's start with that so i got this this is dice side 23 it's not the most expensive one it's more of a regular standard one i got it from the airport it's only 5900 yen and it will be much more expensive in hong kong or in the us so this is such a steal and instead of this i actually wanted to get this yamazaki 12 or 18 but this is all sold out at the airport make sure you get it during your stay and then next we're moving on some gifts that i received this two very very cute teacups that features blue and red one is for men one is for women and look look at the difference it's one larger and one smaller this is so cute and very 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 thoughtful in some way another gift i received is another mug they are giving me different things this is a little mug it's much smaller than regular mugs but look at the color this one has a silver bluish color and then the print it's like lace and then this one it's like a pink very very pale and subtle pink and let's just talk about what is in front of me right now look at this i got this on the last day of my stay and it was the first day of launching this flavor it's lemon flavor not their first time launching this the brand name is tokyo tulip rose it's really popular among the locals this one is a assorted one and i already start eating and look at the packaging on these packaging it's so adorable berry flavor this one is passion fruit mango and chocolate not so girly but it's actually a guy who made this it's so romantic bear with me it's gonna be so random cat snacks yeah. these are all from 7-eleven don't worry she didn't finish all this i just opened up and put it in another container i got one just to spice things up and these are all chicken and she loves it not all 7-eleven has it i actually got it from a local supermarket and they carries a lot of 7-eleven products it's definitely exclusive to japan and two more that she had before she loves it very much that you can get it in online uh, from HKTV Mall if you live in Hong Kong, but the price of course higher. So these are everything that I got for my cat. Should we keep talking about food? Okay, maybe let's do that. I also got this viral New York cheesecake. It's really good. I got a big box of like 24 and I guess we have 10 more left. I'm not a fan of cheese exactly, but it's pretty good and like how people say how good it is it's exactly what i thought of this just speaking of cheese reminds me of this one tokyo milk cheese factory i know milk cheese is a little redundant but that's the name one of the original flavor that i really like i always get this when i'm tokyo you from my vlogs you saw i got so many from my friends and family but i seem to have some leftovers so i'm only getting one for myself more snacks i got is the rice crackers i basically got so many rice crackers there's a pop-up it was 1080 yen for four packs i already start eating and i know one pack is long gone already 
And then from my vlog, you have seen that I also got some more rice cat crackers from a local store that was nearby my Airbnb. It was it was very tasty, and I already start eating, so so that's that. And then a pack of candy from Muji. This is really good. You do Japanese grapefruit and mandarin i used to get this in the u.s and i remember i think it's one dollar and 99 cents per pack in new york and in japan it's like 70 cents from my izu vlog you see this the croutons the wasabi croutons i got i think i have more food in my duffel bag we'll explain it when i see it look at this Guess what? All coffee. It's been a long time since I got Mon Coffee. Mon Cafe. This is the Blue Mountain one. It's very good. I feel extra when I'm having this. And we got three packs. So this is a really good organic drip coffee that we accidentally found. The brand name is eat time some other random coffees that we can also get in hong kong but cheaper over there is this is all so organic if you drink japanese strip coffee i think you know this it's pretty popular that's all for coffee moving on i just put these away and I took it out because i have so much more basically in the duffel bag and i wanted to show you how much i got these are the partial of the face mask these two are from the same brand lululun it's their pharmacy approved edition face mask not one pack and there are seven of it with those kind of face masks i don't like them as much because every time i open a pack there are seven in it or more i i have the urge to finish it all in seven days it kind of bothers me that if i don't finish it i feel like it's it's insanitary it's there's bacteria in it so i prefer these more but i also got some of those um seven pack one it's really really good the green one it says for acne care and whitening and the blue one is more for moisturizing moisturizing conditioning it's really good because when my face is really red after taking off makeup it really calms down my face i like this very much another very good brand for redness is this one it's this is pretty unpopular it's not cheap at all for lululun i if i remember correctly it's about 1400 yen per like five and this is 1200 yen per five they work similarly they're all for sense of skin calming down conditioning moisturizing but i think this is more expensive because this is drugstore approved and this one is not. When you see this, it's more of drugstore approved. Can you see? And this one is definitely a spurge. I got so many. This brand, Transino, this brand are very popular for their whitening peels. Intake skincare if that makes sense they came out with their mask i was really curious and i really wanted to try out and it's phenomenal a splurge to get this because this is 1800 yen it's definitely more expensive than the usual ones but this is so so good this one is also drugstore approved and it calms down my redness as, as well moving on to some makeup product this one i kind of regret buying this they just came out with this color this year and i was really curious but i have used their previous version and and it was like okay it's i didn't really like the formula of it but i got some hope for this because on magazine they speak highly about this i probably wouldn't buy primer from this brand ever again but i'll finish it bioderma makeup remover oil i have a lot of hope on this because i do like their water but this is just 
all right nothing bad about this and it's just okay and by the way i'm going to korea soon so i might get another one after this because this is really small i got some brow products from donkey they're like 500 yen or so it's just like all right it's made in taiwan and they have the brush they have the brow pencil they have this dyeing applicator i got two colors one is light brown one and then the other one is yellow brown it's more to the yellow side so if you have your hair dyed it will suit you better but for my hair color i think it's a little too yellow i think i like the korean peripera brand for brows better and which i'll stock up when i go to korea this tweezer it's patent in japan it's so good the thing is it's so accurate and so on point you have to get this it's so easy to use it's totally worth the money it's around thousand yen it's more on the expensive side for tweezer but it's so good please get one this one it's a little bit expensive this is a deodorant and it's also pharmacy approved for this it's two thousand yen mm, it's all right looks like this my nails just fall off for no reason please bear with me anyways for 2000 yen and for this amount of product let's move on this is good what is this this is a hair shadow the best part is not powder this is more of a cream so good because it's not powder because it's cream it's gonna stick see if you see my other vlogs, you see the white part in the middle here a lot, but you can't really see it because I use this. It's so worth it. Dior concealer. I have not been using a concealer for many, many years. I tried out a lot of concealer. I think they're too thick or they make my face look cakey after a couple hours this one does not this one does not do anything i hate about concealer totally worth the hype i put it for my under eye it does not move for hours to the end of the day it blends in with my skin so well famous applicator brand rosy rosa i haven't used this yet by the way the container is my own i just put it in here i've used powder brush from the brand it's really really good so i haven't used their cushion applicator just yet but i'm very looking forward to it and i'm sure it's gonna be really good actually both are for hair calm down your flyaways look and i like this one this is more of a powder you dab it and then inside as well you dab it on the root and it's supposed to help you to maintain your fringe so i dab it first and then i use the hairline shadow now that i'm done with everything on the table and let's move on to the duffel bag i got a corn purse three color to choose from brown pink a dusty darker pink and this white one but i didn't want to get the pink one again the one i had before i used it for 10 years and i didn't like the brown one and i got white one i mean i'm not using it every day this can last me another three to five years even though it's white even though the coins are already starting to dirty the inside and i only had used it less than a week whatever i accidentally noticed this remember i was trying on the tote bag that's pretty viral recently i saw so many people posting it online i saw local people using daily basis i end up getting this one i i got the other one actually for my mom instead of myself you can tie it better than this and i really like this one it goes well with everything and uh even though this is like beige pink orange peachy color i really like the green the light green detailing here it really matches the whole vibe the macaron vibe it's so pretty let's see 
and I've been using a lot already. And something I found from Uniqlo. So comfortable. I only wanted to wear this ever since. It's a basic bra. It's so comfortable. I saw Julie's TikTok that she recommended. A lot of people ask her what she's wear wearing under her skin's t-shirt so it doesn't show the bra line on the back when i got it it was on sale also so i end up getting two perfect color to wear it under white t-shirts i'm actually wearing this pen here right now it's so comfortable it's very high-waisted it's really stretchy it looks smaller when i bought it this is a large by the way because <laughs> it looks so small on the sample but it's stretched over time if you are not sure which size you are getting if you're at the borderline of both size i would recommend to size down i only got it for less than a week and it's already start stretching i got a hair roller that i actually only use one and i never take this out of the bag so it's a little extra right now okay there's a comment <laughs> a while ago lv ski goggles and a little purse someone commented that oh you all bloggers or whoever showing the haul without trying it on for us to see so if i'm not providing a picture of wearing the item i will wear it for you so yeah we're taking all comments seriously not personally what is this is from the brand mousy if you shop in japan you definitely know mousy it's a really short tiny cover-up for tank tops it's a shirt kind of vibe i'll put it on for you now because i haven't worn yet so i have no pictures of it of course it's gonna look better in tank top like this is the bag i actually really like it if it's with tank top also got this from the outlet it's from big and viper Weeper Viper. It's a short cardigan. Unfortunately, this is not cotton. This one matches much better than a shirt, but you get the idea. It's pretty short. It's it's very cute actually. And I got two more bras, but it's cuter one from Peach John. This is actually not nude color. I wanted the nude color one. The nude color ran out. They gave me this in the feeder room to try out and it turned out the color is so pretty. It's more of a peachy nude, has a little bit of an orange tone. I ended up liking this color more than the nude one. Doesn't have the wire underneath. At least for now, I already worn it a couple times. It doesn't keep dropping. This one I have not worn it yet. It has a wire underneath. I really, really like this one. The side is also very wide, so it's very comfortable. See how the side goes. There's an accessory from this brand, Libby and Rose. I got it from Shibuya 109. If you follow me on Instagram, I've worn it already. It's a pearl accessory on top of your t-shirt, shirt, turtleneck, everything. That looks like this. It's like a tank top, and it's the same front and back it's so cute i got so many compliments when i wear this shopping like the staff actually asked me where i bought it did the shirt come with it i love this so so much and my friend got the same one as well and then i got this top that looks like popcorn don't you think so i love this so much i love the colors between like yellow and green kind of color it's pretty thin and i also like the buttons it's like jelly we have this top 100 percent cotton i really like this part okay, the middle part where you can pull the string to make it tight or loose Next, we have a t-shirt on Cloud9 and on different colors and it says lots of luck. I got another thing from Uniqlo. It's so comfortable. The color is so easy to match. And the best part that it has a pocket. It comes with inner skirt to protect you from being too see-through. And this is 100% uh, cotton. And then I have this dress from Lower's Farm. I paired this 
with the pearl and got so many compliments. I love how it's a different material on the top and on the bottom. You can tell already. This top, I've worn it already as well. It's unfortunately polyester. I'm trying to buy less polyester, but sometimes I can't help it. You can take this off, but I think it looks better with the little sleeve. And what I like about it is underarm area it doesn't squeeze out the extra skin it covers up so nicely that's exactly the reason i got it even though it's polyester oh and this is from Uniqlo as well i guess i don't have to try this on right it has a bra already because i thought this one it's gonna go so well with this one see like this i'm sure you get the idea and i got two tops to put over your t-shirt if you put regular tank top over your t-shirt it's too tight but this one it's so wide that it's gonna go over most t-shirts really really good layering piece and i think this is all year around as well i have to get a color one i have more food i got these pants let me introduce the white one first they're all same brand 100 cotton luckily it was on sale this line caught my eye because it's gonna make your leg look slimmer longer and straighter and it's so comfortable i can't wait to wear it again i already worn that and i have not worn this color yet it's a chocolate mix with olive green color doesn't make your butt look long and flat and then i got some socks i've worn this already it's a beige color socks it's so cute when you wear white shoes you don't want your socks to be white white all the time you want a little bit of change adding the extra layer this will get the job done it's so cute this is more of a winter socks, but I still bought it anyways. It's striped. It's that here. Let's walk together. There's a little print here. This one. Can you tell the texture? It's really textured. It's just adding a layer of texture and make it feel a little bit different and more stylish. Same one as the beige one can wear with anything like loafers so cute so pretty yeah ankle socks i know it's such a millennial thing but i still needed one with the daisy tulip oh tulip so cute last but not least this is a gift from my friend she went to korea while i was in japan and she got me the socks don't you think the color is like tiramisu saint i actually don't own a brown socks so thank you last but not least with clothing hopefully i don't think i got so many a pants see so cute a little bit more food you have seen it already if you see my vlogs for instant soup from kim medai fish i got it from izu and then benito i should have got more of these i didn't get enough in japan not in izu oh let's talk about two pouch i think if you look at my i got so excited look at my vlogs you have seen this already it's the pouch but the thing is it's adorable 100 percent. but i still haven't figured out what do i use this for let me know if you have any idea you can tell the quality is so good oh and this is um another fish more mass these masks I bought, I haven't tried it yet. If it's really, really good, I'll come back and make a video out of all the things I love after using it. So these two masks, oh, there's something I forgot to talk about. Let's go back. I'm sure you have seen this already. This is another version. This Look, this is more yellow. It's supposed to be all silver or white. That's the original one. And this one is the upgraded version. I use it. I love it, love it, love it so much. To me, it's worth the hype. I don't use it when my face is sensitive and or it's a little red. I use it only when my face is healthy. It's helping me fading some dark spots and acne scars. But I've only been using it not long enough to 
say about how it fades everything. And I also use this on the back of my hands. It's very important. It's often get neglect, but I highly recommend using this on the back of your hands. I use like two to three drops on here and then I just rub it like this because this was really good. I also wanted to try this mask. I only got one because, you know, I don't like these kind of seven masks in one pack. I also got this because all the ratings here and because of the Sika ingredient. It says LDK uh, number one or Cosme number one. Yes, but remember, remember to check when. Because I saw items that's like Cosme number one, but it was 2021. So that's like three years ago. Within this three years, there are so many upgraded products came out. This one is LDK rated number one in 2023 June. So that'll be last year. And I think it's more reasonable if the rating is within one year. I got so much more of the mask that I just talked about earlier from Transino, from Lululun, and and yeah, see more. So this one, it looks really moisturizing. It looks really good. So I got this one as well that I have not used. This chopsticks from the sushi restaurant I had, if you see my locks, you have seen this already. I just put everything together. A bunch of skincare, cosmetic, and a pair of shoes to show you. So itchy. I got some more Rosy Rosa um, applications, things, tools, makeup tools. And this is more for powder. And then this is, it says for everything and i got these two mascara i have never used them before but it says cosme number one hall of fame so it's like an all-time everyone's favorite i got this one first it's more of a brown mocha color but then i saw this later a hazel brown it's a limited edition color so i got another one i'll let you know if it's really good if it's like hall of fame kind of quality and this one it's a confession. I take whitening pills pretty much every summer for the last 10 years. I'm not sure is it every single year, but pretty much. And I take it three to four months or sometimes two months. So two to four months. It's not for whitening. I don't mind being tanned, but I get freckles and moles so easily i cannot control if the freckle turns into a mole runs in my family so my dad is like that too that's the reason i take whitening peels and i was like this year i should take a break from it but i mean i don't take it all year round anyway so i don't think it's a very big deal but this year i want to say i want to relax a little bit so i only bought one because i saw this remember this brand asta lift and it's from Fuji Film. They released their own whitening pews, and I feel like I have to get one and try. And this is a one month supply. I tried a couple. I tried from this brand, Transino, Shiseido, and this will be my third brand that I've taken. I'm actually quite looking forward to taking this. Three travel size of this water spray another one in my makeup bag i've been using it for 10 years and i have a really big one in my bathroom i really need this i'm so used to this and this one the price kind of going up but anyways i go through this pretty quickly and i got three and of course i need to back up on this completely ran out and it's thrown away and i got two of this this is still my favorite and a chanel face wash this might be my fourth one and I always use the, the most basic one. And this time, since I'm in Japan with a really good exchange rate, I wanted to try something new. So I got this whitening one. The basic one, they ran out anyways. So perfect. And once in a while, I use this face wash when I feel like I'm having acne. I think it kind of works, but I don't suggest to use this for every day. If, unless you have really bad acne. I feel like... Japanese nail stickers are not as good as Korean's one, so I only got one coming back. 
and I stock up on this because this is that good. So, you know, I love the Sublinge foundation. I got another one. It's such a splurge to get this. I'm so glad that I was able to get this in Japan because of the exchange rate, of course. I later found out that the new Shiseido one looks pretty similar. It's watery, runny, just like this one. So maybe after this one, I'll try out the Shiseido one. But I love this so much and it smells so luxurious. The expiration date is once open, it will last you a year. I use this for almost one and a half years, so I think kind of worth it in some way. I don't really run out and it comes with a brush. The brush is just as good. So, I mean, if it comes with the brush, the price is actually not that bad. And it lasts you a year plus the brush. It's actually zero math. It's mathing. This product is for hair. It's a hair wax. I saw someone, a Japanese, using this on TikTok and I wanted to try out. Only use it once. And that time, it's like not enough for me to comment on this. Little face wash. Dior gave me from the purchase of the concealer and I've used Dior face wash previously I like Chanel better than Dior in terms of face wash but still thank you very much because it's so handy when traveling so I actually need this very much because I like this Transino mask so much I was looking into their other skincare items and i come across this serum this is also drugstore pharmacy approved i have not used this yet but i'm very much looking forward to it i heard a lot of good things on this i have not tried it yet that's why i only bought one and it's this is also drugstore pharmacy approved and I'm very looking forward to try this as well. And I got some gel now. I've been using Korean stickers for the longest time and I wanted to get some new gel now or nail gel, whatever. These two are limited edition color. It's more of a white with some shimmer and this is like a peachy pink, very pale pink with a peachy tone to it. And this is actually what I'm wearing right now. It's a between the dark purple and navy color so so far so good it has a little bit of shimmer inside i have no idea what happens to this one it never happened to me before it fall off within one week so i'm not sure also got these are for nail art so i was trying out and there are like six colors i got three so basically this is this it's actually harder than I think, especially when you are doing your right hand. So your left is doing your right hand. It's like this. Actually cute, right? It's unicorn, clear one for the summer, and then blue. And the blue turns out to be a lot more pigmented than I thought it would. So I got my mom a primer that I previously showed in my vlog. And I wanted to try out this brand primer as well and i wanted a color one i'm using maquillage right now it's really good that this one is half of the original size and the price is also half so i do not have to pay any extra to try the smaller size out this is also limited and they only have the purple one and this green one plus it's so good for traveling so for traveling every single item if the size is smaller i'm happier this one is kind of like the first aid beauty in the US, but cheaper, I think. It's for sensitive skin. I'm pretty sure the brand is under Shiseido's. And this one says really calm down to your redness. I used it once, it worked, but I only used it once. Really lightweight and moisturizing and did calm down my redness at that time. This mascara I've been loving since like two years ago and i'm using it right now it was the only color back then it's black and these two are brown it doesn't smudge at all it makes your lash long and holding the curls looks beautiful the whole day i also used the one from korea that's cleo that's very popular but i think this one is better on my skin this mascara it's also very popular 
Cosme or LDK number one. So I just bought one to try out. It's a toning lotion from Sublinch from Chanel because I got the face wash and uh, foundation. Two lips that I got. I have used the previous one, which is, I have it right now. This one is so, so, so good. It's so moisturizing. I use it before makeup or at the end of the night. It's pretty much gone. I think I only have a little bit, but I just didn't want to throw it away. I have been squeezing it, you can tell. And the new one, the clear color is actually in green. I hope they are keeping the same formula. It's just as good. And this one's been popular for clear lip, lip balm i am looking forward to try this hair product for bangs to calming down that i have not used it yet on my izu vlog that i tried on the other pair it looks kind of cute when i come back but i end up getting this one instead honestly i like that silver color because this is more brown silver that one is more metallic oh i should say this one's really metallic too but I like that that one stronger silver color and that one is completely pointy. This one is rounded pointy. That is so flat. I want a little help. I need a little lift and the lift for this one is just perfect. I've talked so much. This will be it for my haul video. Such a haul video, right? Look at this. But honestly, I don't think I bought a lot, a lot, a lot. You know what I mean? Because I used to buy so much more. I mean, a lot of these are food and mass, so it's more consumable. But clothes, I think it's just okay. I could have bought more. I hope you enjoyed this video and find it helpful. I guess I'll see you at my vlog. I can't believe I forgot to talk about this. It's so beautiful. I found it from a very small shop. It's 3,300 yen. It's not something you buy every day. It's a collectible piece. Oh my god. Uh, while putting the things away, I found out one more thing that I forgot to talk about and it's quite important, I think. So this brand, I use it before a long time ago and it's from Fuji Fume. it's their whitening serum again i don't use whitening to whitening myself i use it for freckles prevention and maybe a little bit of brightening i got the refill of this it comes with this little tray you usually just put this on top but then it's very easy to pull out the tray and to scoop the products out of it i only got this so I didn't have to buy this. I think it's 500 yen cheaper without the container. And then you just place it in the side. There you go. Peel it off to use. That's all for real.